What about making your song better? Hi there, Red Hat Roman in cooperation with WA Production is speaking. Today I want to show you a great mastering, but not only mastering, but a great tool, uh, which is called equalizer matching or something like that, you know, just simply matching. And yeah, I will just, first of all, I will play you a preview like with and without the EQ match on the master channel where I'm using it mostly and I will be presenting it on one of my kits from a pack called EDM Festival Kits by WA Production that I have just released. Uh, you know, you probably you probably want to hear a big difference between on and off of the EQ but um, you will see you know during the tutorial what is going on there so yeah off yeah and so on and so on so Mm. what basically so what we will be doing here right here uh, on the left side of the screen I got a uh, construction kits you can see the multiple stems I have uh, you know bounced and I have used and uh, yeah as you can see also I'm using on my master master channel only the Fab Filter Pro L, which is the best limiter I know, and I am also using this REQ six by Waves, um, where I'm you know cut, cutting off those really low, not hearable frequencies and boosting a bit the sub frequencies and highs. So that's all I'm basically using on my master channel. But right after this one, I will record another one tutorial where, where I will be showing you, where I will show you um, how to mix and master your track um, using Ableton. Sorry for that. <laughs> I just think it's not possible to do it properly or sorry is it is possible but i'm not able to do it properly in fl studio so uh, but i will tell you more about it uh in the later video so yeah be ready for that so what we got here here is the construction kit i have created and here i have downloaded a freebie by the 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 dioro called rumbo vip you know u ip VIP, yeah, it's VIP, sorry, uh, which sounds like this. You know, really sick tune, just crazy, like the Oro is a genius. So, uh, what the EQing basically is, is that you take, you take the, what we will be doing here is that, um, let's say I really like song and I want my song to have the same sound you know uh, not exactly the same but to be as close as possible so what I will do is that I will just you know take the EQ EQ of this track the mastering EQ of this track of the Dioro one and I will apply it to my track that's basically it uh, there are there are more tools you know plugins that are able to do that but I'm using the isotope ozone 5 uh, equalizer uh, which is great and I will show you how to do that um, I will show you how to do that now so uh, you know I, I just sorry I just loaded up on my master channel and hmm. so uh, yeah, let's do it because we don't want to spend much time on this. Uh, so let's just, you know, uh, uh, let's just take a drop from the Dioro one and learn the isotope ozone, uh, 
you know, the equalizer. What you will do is that you will turn on this post or the pre-equalizer pre and you will go to snapshots. You will delete any other snapshots you, you got here and you just click start capture and you play the song. So uh, this is the main, you know, like look of the equalizer of the Dioro track. So what I do next is that I will go to my drop in there, and um, to be honest, there's I don't want to sound like uh, you know big head or something, but there is not that big difference between those two drops mainly in the EQ EQing so you know obviously the Dero sounds uh, a bit better but uh, yeah it doesn't matter doesn't matter so I will do the same thing I will you know I will um, I will rename this one to the Euro so we will know what we are uh, what this that one is and uh, I will play this song and I will start capture, capturing the equalizer of the drop of mine. Yeah, that's me. That's right head. So now we've got these two, sorry, I will not show you by the hand, I will show you by a mouse. Now we've got these two equalizers. As you can see, they are a bit similar, but whatever, okay? Um, now you will go to the matching, sec matching section and what you will do is that you will click, you know, this is a bit weird, but we want to apply the Dioro one to the one of mine but you need to do it a bit different here you need to say the isotope like apply to the euro and apply from mine it's it's I don't know why they did this this, this way but it's just like this okay so yeah and now you see you know the equalizer has created uh, the difference between between two those lines and now by these two knobs, you can, you know, raise it up, raise down like the smooth of the of the line, which I am always doing like on the zero to to have as much uh, as much peaks as as, as possible, and uh, you, you just you know turn uh, like higher this amount. Uh, it depends on the sound you want to achieve. So. I feel like it, it cleans some of the frequencies in there and I like it a lot. You know, uh, I'm not saying Dero is using some big mastering studios, but if you will uh, take, for example, some really famous records, you can just do this super easy trick and you will achieve just very much clear mix. And what is better that you can apply this EQ, for example, on synths and whatever you know it's just it's just up to you up to your thinking i guess so yeah that's the trick i i'm not sure how to do this with the free flp but we will figure it out don't worry we will surely give you something for free uh in the description of this video so uh yeah Okay guys, thank you for watching. Sorry for taking uh sorry for taking so long to explain what we will be doing here, but it's just me and my tutorials. Hey, uh take care, have a nice day. Bye.